Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're talking about the new Snow White collection coming from ColourPop. If you're watching this video on the day that it goes up, then this collection is launching today, Thursday, February 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. If you're not sure about what time that is where you live, give it a quick Google and it will be very easy to figure out when this launch is for you. This will be available on the ColourPop site. Not sure when or if it will be at Ulta. Typically, these Disney collections do find their way over to Ulta. However, there are certain items that tend to be exclusive to the ColourPop site. I'm guessing that the little lippy scrub, the Apple lippy scrub, will be exclusive to the ColourPop site. I don't know that for sure. They didn't tell me that. I'm just guessing based on what has happened with previous launches. So if you know that's an item you really want, you probably want to go to the ColourPop site for the launch. I have a feeling that one's going to sell out really quickly. I think it's going to be the Winnie the Pooh little honey pots all over again with this Apple Lippy Scrub. Again, I don't know that for sure. That's just my guess based on previous launches. If you do decide to pick up anything from the ColourPop site, you can use my affiliate code. It's just my first name, Amanda, and that will save you 10% on pretty much everything on the site. There are a few exceptions, so make sure you keep an eye on your cart totals. I always want you to get the best deal possible, and I really greatly appreciate everybody who does choose to use my code. It's a great way that really helps support the channel, so I definitely appreciate everybody who does that. Now, I am going to be sharing some prices here. These are the initial prices that ColourPop gave me, but sometimes they may change their minds last minute or they may just accidentally tell me the slightly wrong price for something. So don't shoot the messenger. I'm going to do my best. I just want to give you the best possible information that I can. So let's start with the magic mirror. This is a cute little hand mirror. They've done a lot of these in the past and I think for this collection it really fits perfectly. Of course, the magic mirror is such an important part of the Snow White story. So this really makes sense within the theming of the collection. I do think that it's a cute idea. It's priced at $14. That might seem a little steep if you have their previous hand mirrors, but this one is actually a little bit bigger. I'm going to show you some size comparisons later. Personally, I would have preferred a slightly more expensive and just more intensely detailed type of product. I know not everybody feels that way. I know that one of the big draws of ColourPop is that they aren't super expensive, especially compared to other sort of mid-range brands. I was trying to give you a size comparison here and then I realized that if you don't know how big my hand is, then this is really useless. So I decided to compare it to this Huda palette for you. So I do think that this is a good idea. I don't love the execution. It does feel a little bit kind of cheapy. And the magic mirror thing here, this is just a sticker. So to actually use this, you have to peel off that decal thing. Now let's move on to the Just One Bite Lippy Scrub. This is priced at 12 US dollars. And I think this is going to be the really hot sellout item. The packaging is super, super cute. This is definitely the sit on the desk or sit out on your vanity or in your bathroom kind of collector's item. It smells super, super sweet. It smells like a sweet, crisp apple. I really like the scent. It's not florally at all. It's not chemically smelling. It definitely has just like a nice, crispy, sweet apple smell. The scrub itself has a very, very fine grain. So you'll see here, I left it just smooth for and untouched for the video first. But when I do touch this with my finger, it's not like big, chunky, you know, sugar scrub type of texture. It's very smooth. It's very gentle. It feels like an exfoliating lip balm and it smells and tastes incredible. Don't eat your makeup, be better than me. 
Okay, it's time to get into the makeup. Let's talk about Super Shock blushes. We have three different Super Shock blushes here. These are all a pearlized finish. They all have a beautifully done packaging inside and out, special packaging. These will be priced at $10 a piece. And on the inside, they have these really cute little screw top pots in a periwinkle color with the little snow white silhouette. Inside, you can see these have a gorgeous, shimmery, reflective, pearlized finish. I Wish I Wish is a light pink with a golden shift. This shade, Fair Enough, is a bright coral. It's definitely brighter in the pan than it is on the skin, but this is a lovely, corally, sparkly color. And then lastly, we have Just Rosy, which is a deep, sort of grapey, berry type of color. I want to show you these just swatched onto my arm. Now, I will be doing a video with some looks, so you'll get to see these in action later. I just wanted to really get the swatches, close-ups, comparisons, all that stuff out for you first. That way you could see it before the launch. I do have just a few comparisons here. I wanted to show a couple of comparisons for all the products. I do think that the blushes are my favorite piece in this entire collection. The blushes and the lippy scrub are for sure my top recommends. Although I do think this is a really all around well done collection. If I had to pick just one thing, I'd pick the blush. And if I got to pick two things, I'd pick the blush and the lippy scrub. Now let's talk about the lip kits. There's a lot to say with these especially because there are quite a few pieces in here. Each lip kit is priced at $20, and each one of these two sets contains three pieces. There's a lippy pencil, a cream luxe lipstick, and a luxe lip gloss. If these names sound a little familiar to you, it's because we have seen both a Snow White and an Evil Queen lipstick in the past. So I am gonna do a little comparison with those later on. First, I just wanna give you a close-up look at the special packaging on all of these lip products. The Snow White set has a red theme and then the Evil Queen set has this berry wine color type of theme. The lippy pencils do need to be sharpened. Here's an example of just a fresh lippy pencil and a sharpened one. The Cream Luxe lipsticks here have this very cute little apple print stamped into the actual lipstick bullet, and these are both a cream finish. And lastly, we have a Luxe gloss. These glosses smell like apples to me too, so I don't know if I was just maybe still had that lippy scrub in my nose when I opened these up to swatch them, but these smell like apples to me as well, just the glosses I didn't notice on any of the other products. Here are some quick arm swatches. I do wanna mention that for the lipsticks here, this is a one swipe swatch. This is not built up at all. So these lip colors are very even, very opaque just with one swipe. I love to see that. I love the cream Lux lipsticks. I just love Lux lipsticks in general. And I will be lip swatching these when I do my two looks video. I wanna do like a Snow White look and an Evil Queen look. I think that would be really fun. Like I mentioned, we have seen a Snow White and an Evil Queen lipstick previously way back in the day with the disney designer collection there was an original snow white lipstick and then later with the misunderstood disney villains collection we saw an evil queen lipstick so these ideas have been floating around out there for a while but as you will see in the comparison swatches here we're not getting an exact reiteration so the snow white lipsticks seem pretty much the same to me you could probably find a little difference here and there if you wanted to but overall pretty much look the same they're gonna look the same on the lips the evil queen shade however is completely different now let's go to the very last piece in this collection. We have the Dreams Come True eyeshadow palette and it will be priced at 22 US dollars. This palette does have the larger pan size, the 26 millimeter eyeshadow pans, just in case you are somebody who likes to swap around your palettes. This will 
work interchangeably with the other large pan eyeshadow palettes. I love the packaging. I know it's so straightforward. It's very, very classic. They didn't do a twist. They didn't do much of an interpretation. I actually like that. I think this is very sweet. It's very classic and cute. And I think a lot of people are going to love this for that reason. And I think that for Snow White, you really have to go that direction. I think a more literal interpretation for, you know, the first ever real feature length Disney movie, you have to go classic. And they did a classic color scheme interpretation with the shadows. There's no mirror inside here. It's just this really cute little graphic. And then the background of the palette, you see all sorts of little mushrooms and flowers and cute little Snow White lives in a forest type of things. This eyeshadow palette has one super shock shadow. It's on the top row there. It's the shade called Ever After. Then there are two mattes with glitter, four true matte shades, and then five shimmers. And this is really a very neutral color story with three primary color pops in there, which again is classic Snow White. They went literal. I do think that's kind of what's expected. And, you know, I think that's probably what people will want from this collection. So even though this isn't particularly my cup of tea color story wise, I do think that it makes sense. And I think that it's what people are going to want from this collection. So I'm not mad at it. I'm glad they went this way. I think that it would have been pretty strange to try to do your own interpretation of such a classic. While it's not my personal favorite palette that they've done, it makes sense. I get it. I respect it. I, I'm here for it. Now let's do some comparisons. I did end up pulling a lot of Disney releases. So this is the Disney Designer palette, their original Disney palette, and the Midnight Masquerade. Just some shades from each one of those pulled, and it came way closer than even I thought. The main difference is the finish on the red and blue, but overall definitely nailing a similar color story here. Just a couple finishes are off here and there. Next, I pulled the Star Wars palette. This was the one that immediately came to mind for me because of the red and blue shimmers. Color story is quite a bit different undertone wise. Not really nearly as similar elsewhere, but you know, the red and blue and also there's a deep black shade in there. So kind of a same vibe, a riff on the same color story, but not quite as much overlap. Now the Disney Mulan palette was the next one I pulled. This one is missing the blue, but otherwise it has the red, it has the sparkly sequin black, it has a lot of these similar feelings in a very neutral color story, but definitely not as many dupes as I expected to find. Now let's look at this holiday palette. This was the Muppets palette that just came out this past holiday season. I think that these are actually more similar than I expected them to be. Again, we have a couple of shades off or a couple of finishes off here and there, but surprisingly similar color story, especially for just these shades that I've pulled. Now let's move on to my last comparison. This is the Bon Voyage palette. I thought of this one again because of the red and the blue, but color story wise overall, not really giving me the same feelings. The neutrals are kind of all over the place and the Bon Voyage palette is actually quite a bit lighter and brighter to be 100% honest with you. I don't think that the comparisons really matter that much for a palette like this, because I do think this is something that is more of a nostalgia factor. It's appealing more to the Disney collectors, the Snow White lovers. So even if you have some of these comparison palettes and you like this one and it makes you feel happy and joyful and childlike, no judgment for me, you know? I think the blushes are the item I'm most excited about, the thing that I'm going to use the most, and I really love the apple lippy scrub too. I do think that's going to be the first item to sell out. That's going to be the hot ticket item. 
I'm inspired to do a couple of looks with this collection if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. I definitely only want to make the content that's the most helpful and entertaining for you. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in. Let me know what you think about this collection. Are you interested? Are you a Disney lover? Are you passing? Are you only picking up some of it? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And also, I love your face so very, very much and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye!